so we're heading up to the Harlan Park today, our local ballpark. I've got a whole bunch of tractors loaded up. I borrowed a, another grader box from one of my buddies. So I got three tractors. There's some other volunteers that are going to head to the park. And we're going to see if we can get the diamond shaped up so we can start practicing next week. Wait, 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 wait. This story doesn't start here. Back it up to the tiller. There. This video should actually have a little backstory and show what we did on the day before heading to the park with all the box scrapers. It's the spring of 2020 and we weren't even sure if we would have a baseball season this year because of the COVID-19 pandemic. And as a result, our local ballpark got neglected and it was in really rough shape. The biggest problem was that the weeds had started to take over all the diamonds because we were nearly six weeks behind from when we usually start on this stuff. As a matter of fact, I made a video when I tried to work on the worst diamond back in March and I even got snowed on in the process. Any progress I thought I had made back then was all lost by now, and this field looks like it needs a lawnmower, not a ball team. This is actually our t-ball diamond, so unfortunately it doesn't get kept up as well as the others, but even the upper league diamonds were starting to look pretty bad. We have five diamonds total, and we are hoping to get four of the five ready to go on this particular day. We weren't really sure how to tackle the weeds. It was getting too late to try to spray them with herbicide and then wait for the vegetation to die off. So we decided we tried to till them up and see what happened. We had never tilled them before, so wasn't sure what we'd be getting ourselves into. The only real obstacles were the metal pegs that are buried at each of the base locations. So we just wanted to be sure not to hit any of those. We only hit two or three or four, but as it turns out, the tilling actually worked great. We kept it at a shallow depth and that thing did a fantastic job of chopping up the weeds and generating lots of nice loose material to work with. We were actually worried once we started that it was going to be too fluffy and soft so it was a bit of a gamble especially since we hoped to grade them out with just the little garden tractors. My cousin Adam and family are local farmers that happen to have this nice little John Deere 3720 tractor and tiller. So I called him on Friday at lunchtime and by two o'clock that same day, he was at the park all set to till up all four of the diamonds for us. That's what is amazing about our community when it comes to the park. There is no municipality or local government that maintains the grounds of the park. Everything that happens down there is an all-volunteer effort. We have 14 acres of grass to mow in the park, and even all of that gets mowed every week by a local band of dedicated volunteers, many of which I'm proud to say I am related to. So basically, all of this got started just the day before because our governor told us that we would be able to have a ball season as long as some safety precautions were followed. It was going to be a shortened season and a bit different than normal, but we are thankful for whatever we can get and we're determined to make it work and still have some fun this year. But there's a lot of work to be done in a short amount of time, so we are very fortunate to have a community that will quickly rise to the occasion and come out to get the work done. So that should bring you up to speed on how this tractor day in the park came to be. And I think I counted at least 10 different tractors that were there over the course of the weekend, all working to do something to help. So let's go back to the part where I was taking three tractors up to the park and see how it goes trying to grade out those ball diamonds with just the little pull type grader boxes. How's it going? <laughs> we're waiting it up. I don't think I'll be able to pull it unless we get some weight on there.
Well, we got this diamond shaped up pretty good. So we got this one shaped up. Clint has the other diamond shaped up. We got two more that we need to grade. This one was full of weeds, but I think it's gonna turn out good. Had a lot of help here today, which is nice. Everybody coming to the park to help. We're down to the last diamond. This was the worst one. This one was looked like a hay field. Uh, that tractor's out of gas. So Clint is gonna go see if he can get some more gas. And this is really soft stuff. It's sandy and it's it's wet. So this one's our biggest challenge, I think. And it's but we'll see what it looks like when we get done here. Are you on standby? Okay. Didn't they have a smaller can of gas, Clint? Yeah, they had a 20 ounce bottle. <laughs> that is the littlest gas can I've ever seen. Yeah. This one's the one that's got power and she's using up the gas, apparently. Now that one's going to run out next. It's your turn to go to the next gas station. Yeah, I will. <laughs> All right. I think that doesn't look too bad. From the shape that this diamond was in when we first started, with all of the clover and the weeds that were growing in the in the infield, well, the whole diamond, uh, this is a far cry better. There's still some clumps of grass, but for the most part, I think it looks pretty good. And I think we'll be able to play ball here. So if you saw my video earlier that I linked where I was trying to do this back in early spring, I even mentioned that maybe I should have tilled it. Maybe some people thought I should have tilled it, and I probably should have just tilled it. So. That's what we did this time, and I think it turned out good, so. All right, let's go see what else we can do. We got the diamonds all shaped up and graded out at the park. We're gonna let them dry out. And the park has a nice drag that attaches to the back of a John Deere Gator, but it is severely worn down and needs rebuilt, so we're gonna try to get this built up with some parts. Larry's got some parts made. They made these little teeth at work, where Larry works. So we're going to weld them on here and hopefully the grader will be good to go. So, all right, let's get this fixed. We got to get that third off. Okay. Larry beveled one side. We're gonna weld the other side flush. These are hard ops, aren't they? Which means they should wear really well. We're gonna weld a new point onto each one of these little teeth. And hopefully this grater will be good as new for the park. Better. Oh, it'll be better. Better than new for the park, that's right.
want to burn that up. So is that a precision adjustment? Yeah, I think they're great, right? Well, new points all installed on the drag. We'll uh, go hook it up to the gator and try it out. See if it works. It's worse. How am I making it worse? There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's try that. So I've seen this thing in use dozens of times, hundreds of times maybe, and I've never paid that much attention to it. I don't know if it's right, but We'll go find out. We'll see. I don't think it's going to lay down right when it goes down. Maybe it will. Now it's one way to find out. working good. I wasn't even sure if that was going to be too aggressive or not, but looks like the teeth are digging in just right and the rubber flaps on the back are smoothing it out. This diamond looks good. I think it's going to work good. All right, now we can let the groundskeeper kids use the gator and do their thing. Sweet. Okay, this is that diamond I said looked like a hay field. It was in, uh, had a lot of weeds that we tilled up and the weeds are coming back. going to take some work. I'm going to, I'll bring it back and show you in just a minute. Well, that's a half hour's worth of grading. I think it looks a lot better, but the only problem we have now is that it surfaced a lot of rocks. So I think as long as the kids start each practice and end each practice with picking up some rocks, a handful of rocks per kid, We'll get them all cleaned up. So, all right, ball games start a week from tomorrow. So we're almost ready. Thanks for checking out the video. This was more than just a tractor day in the park. This was a, a whole tractor week in the park. But I think we've got things shaped up well enough. And I've said that word a lot, shaped up. Hopefully we can salvage a little bit of the summer, even despite all the COVID stuff. Thanks so much for watching the video. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.